Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to boost your FPS in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, this is very updated. This is for Chapter 4 onwards, and I personally use these methods to optimize my PC for Fortnite capabilities. I was able to run Fortnite at around 160 FPS on a 1050 Ti before, and honestly, it's a blessing that I was able to. Part of the credit is obviously to these settings that I will show you guys in this video right now. There are a bunch of setting changes that I actually haven't done and I personally will not do purely because I have a better graphics card now, but if you don't have a good graphics card or if you want to just get the maximum FPS without the quality, then this video is for you. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. To start off with our FPS boost setting, we're going to start by right clicking and go into NVIDIA control panel. I'm sorry for AMD users because I don't know the AMD version of this. The most significant part of this settings change is going to be your manage 3D settings. You want to copy all of these settings. So make sure image scaling is off, ambient and anti-aliasing all off if possible. Anything anti-aliasing related, make sure it's turned off. If you can turn it off, please just turn the, the hell off. It's going to make your PC lag. Make sure that CUDA GPUs, make sure that it is set to all. Make sure the OpenGL rendering GPU is on your graphics card and not on an integrated graphics card. In my case, I'm using an NVIDIA GeForce RDX 3060. Make sure to turn off VSync, by the way, because it's going to limit your FPS to whatever monitor you have, and that's just not good. And yeah, that should be it. And then you just have to click apply, and then there you go. You got a pretty optimized NVIDIA control panel ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is go to our window settings. So you just have to click on this little icon right here, click on the settings. And then once you're here, go to gaming. Make sure the Xbox game bar is turned off. This is going to limit your FPS a ton. It's basically a recording software and it records it and it's just terrible. Captures, make sure that it's turned off. You can honestly just use Nvidia Shadowplay if you wanted to. For game mode, I know it says when game mode is on, window optimizes your PC for play, but I've learned from a lot of PC tweakers and a lot of Fortnite YouTubers that turning game mode off actually boosts your FPS a little bit. And then go to the very right where it says related settings and click on graphic settings. On the graphic settings, make sure the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned off. I know it says reduce latency and improve performance, but according to a lot of people, it's probably best if you keep it on off. It hurts your FPS more than it actually helps your FPS. So yeah, make sure the hardware accelerated GPU is off. Go to the graphics performance preference where it says choose between better performance or better life when using an app. Make sure to click on desktop app, click on browse. And then once it shows your C drive or wherever. And now you have to look at your Fortnite. Usually it's on your C drive. Click on program files, look for Epic Games, click on Epic Games, click on Fortnite, click on Fortnite game binaries windows 64 and then click fortnite client dash win 64 dash shipping this is usually the one with the bigger file size as you can see it says it's 280,000 kilobytes click on it click add and it's already added for me afterwards you want to click options and make sure that it is on high performance click save and there you go next thing we're going to do is go to our little windows search thing and then type in battery click enter and then once you're in the power and sleep section, go to additional power settings and then make sure you have high performance enabled. Now there's an even better option for this and that is ultimate performance. To enable ultimate performance, you just need to click on this little window right here and then type in CMD and then go and run it as administrator. And then you want to paste what I'm going to show you guys in the link in the description. You, would, you just want to paste it, click enter and then exit CMD. And then when you go here, it should show ultimate performance, which you're going to click. Now, if you are going to go for standard high performance, you want to click change plan settings, change advanced power setting. Now you want to scroll until you find the wireless adapter settings, click it, click power saving mode and make sure the setting is on maximum performance. Afterwards, you want to click apply, click OK, and then you're done. The next thing you want to do is go back to your Windows search bar and search up startup apps. Afterwards, you want to make sure that everything is turned off except the ones that you really need. Like, for example, I need this Realtek HD Audio Universal service. Uh, if I don't even need Epic Games at this point, so make sure to turn it off. And especially some of the apps that are running in the background while you're playing that you haven't closed and you don't even know what's open. Make sure to turn these off so you don't have to close them manual. And then afterwards, a trick that I learned is go to Epic Games Launcher. Now make sure Fortnite's turned off or make sure that Fortnite's not running. And then if it's not running, click on the three dots here, 
click on options and then make sure that high resolution textures dx12 shaders and even save the world if you don't want it i just play save the world are turned off what this does is basically it deletes the high resolution textures of your game making it so that your pc can run it smoothly and also since you're probably going to use performance mode make sure dx12 shaders are turned off after that hit apply and then you should have everything deleted don't worry it won't affect your fortnite it won't change anything it will just remove some of the high textures that you probably wouldn't need if you want to get good at the game so that's pretty much all the tweaks you can do on windows 10 to improve your fortnite Fortnite FPS. Now we're going to go to Fortnite itself. So now that we're in Fortnite, we're going to tweak a little bit of the graphic settings. Now that we're on video settings or graphic settings, make sure that window mode is on full screen. Window full screen is pretty good if you're a streamer, but I do recommend full screen if you want to get maximum FPS. For resolution, you would typically want native resolution, which is 1920 by 1080, but 16 by 900 is fine and 1280 by 720 if you are really, really down bad on fps make sure that v-sync is turned off please turn this off please just turn this off especially if you're on 60 hertz or 75 hertz just please turn this off for frame rate limit i do recommend putting this one above your monitor's refresh rate so if you're on 240 hertz i recommend staying on 240 fps if you're on 144 hertz i recommend going 165 or 160 fps if you're on 120 hertz 144 and if you're on 60 or 75 hertz, I recommend 120. Next, make sure that your rendering mode is on performance, lower graphical detail. I swear, man, they made these things so impossible to read. I just can't. Next, you want to make sure your rendering mode is on performance, lower graphical fidelity. This basically makes it so that your Fortnite is on performance mode, which is what everybody uses at this point. So for the color brand mode and the brightness, we don't really need to change much of this. What we really care about is graphics quality, performance mode. I do recommend these settings of going 100% 3D resolution, which makes it so that your 1920 by 1080 is on 100 percent i'm pretty sure it was 66 percent if you want to go for 16 by 900 so basically what this does is let's say you're on 50 percent 3d resolution then your resolution your 1920 by 1080 is basically cut in half and that same goes for every other percentages i'm pretty sure the lowest it can get is 25 percent but at that point 25 percent is just terrible but i do recommend 100 percent 3d resolution now you can move it downwards slightly by into the 90s but 100 is probably the best next you want to make sure that view distance is on near textures on low and meshes on low now you can tweak with textures and put it on high or medium or even epic if you have an insane gpu but a bad cpu this makes it so that it prevents a little bit of the bottleneck that's going on within your pc but most cases if you have a standard cpu with a standard gpu a max gpu a higher gpu i recommend going for a lower textures now for the meshes thing i do recommend low meshes this basically helps your performance a ton in comparison to high meshes but if you want to enable high meshes, make sure that meshes is on high and then your view distance is on medium. And this basically enables high meshes. And finally, make sure that show FPS is turned on so that you can really see your FPS without installing a third party software. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Turn on post notifications if you're notified of videos just like this one. And make sure to comment down below video ideas. And if I do get your ideas, then I will for sure shout you out in the next video anyways thank you guys so much for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye